Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh friends welcome back to my channel in my last video I discussed that I was testing LED strip using 12 volt what I did I connect, connected 12 volt power supply directly to the negative test terminal and the positive supply through this 1 kilo ohm resistance and I tested the LEDs that we can test LED and I replaced the LED using separate lamp what is the basic or what is the theory behind this resistor we know to test LED we need a current limit resistor and why I am using this technique for resistor value when we want to limit the current resistor value R is equal to V supply minus V L E D divided by I L E D in normal conditions any LED which is 1.8 volt LED it is operated at 15 to 35 milliampere so 12 volt minus for example I want to test this LED minus 1.8 we will consider 2 volts divided by 15 milliampere 12 minus 2 divided by 0 0.015 666 680 ohms resistor we need to take 50 mil 15 milliampere but I used 1 kilo ohm resistance and when we use 1 kilo ohm resistance how much the current will flow in the LED 12 min, uh, 12 divided by 1000 it will 12 milliampere so that is the less than this amount so it is safe because I am using 1 kilo ohm resistance I am not using less resistance and in case of this LED it is 3 volt LED now when we test LED here any test any LED any diode simple diode rectifier diode zener diode I will explain how it will work negative side to one end so it is dropping 12 volt that means it is reverse biased or it is open when I will reverse the lead it is illuminating and the multimeter is giving voltage 1.8 volt that this LED junction is dropping 1.8 volt this LED is good if I want to test this yellow LED so it is dropping 2 volt so in this way we can test LED very easily and it will display the drop voltage of that LED for example in this strip I will test and it is dropping 2.6 volt 3 volt LED why it is dropping 3 volt 2.6 volt because I am providing the controlled current through 1 kilo ohm resistance so it is 2.6 volt if I will test this LED it is dropping 300 millivolt that means this is short circuit this LED is damaged it have short circuit from inside if I will test it with uh, continuity it will give continuity that it is short circuit so if I will test with continuity it is short circuit but if I will test with this one it will give the drop voltage the same it is dropping less than the barrier voltage of a LED that means 2 volt 3 volt so it is very best and useful technique I always use to test zener diodes and LEDs like that and when we verify that all LED is drop our LEDs are dropping equal voltage 
for example I have this LED strip it is dropping 2.6 volt we have to consider the voltage drop of every LED when we will consider the voltage drop what will happen it will display that the LED is dropping 2.6 volt normally the multimeter is showing 12 volt why because I am providing 12 volt through this resistor to this terminal and return line to this line now I will check the, this LED it is short circuit it is 206 millivolt so that means this LED is bad I will check this one it is 2.6 volt it is dropping 2.6 volt if some LED it have internal junction resistance is dropped it is working if we will test with some ohmmeter some diode mod maybe it will give indication but in current drop or voltage drop mod it will not work properly when we will install in the TV backstrip one portion of the TV will eliminate more the second will blind so this imbalance of the light will give uneven image on the screen the display will not good but if we volt if the voltage drop is equal for our LED, for all LEDs 2.6 volt here the LED is bad because it is dropping 2.217 millivolt so that means it is short circuit when anywhere there is a short circuit the voltage drop will less it will go near to zero it is 2.6 volt that means this LED and this LED have equal illuminance equal junction resistance so the voltage drop will equal the next question some friends some of my friends may comment that why I am using this separate lamp when we use heat gun what we do we heat up LED from front side in the rear there is aluminium plate when we heat up from this side it will heat up the plastic body of the LED so it will not directly heat up the strip but when we heat up this strip it will heat up ok this LED is bad I will remove this LED when we heat up the strip from the rear side from the aluminium side so this separate lamp it have more heat than the heat gun and we can remove the LED very nicely very easily without damaging the LED either we are removing the serviceable LED the work, working one so this LED will not damage why because it will not take too much heat we are heating the base plate and when we want to install back again we will heat up these contacts and we will place the LED so this LED will remain safe it will not overheat its junction temperature will remain within limits so it is the technique behind this I also use heat gun and I also use hot tweezer but it is the better technique than the hot tweezer than then the hot air gun, then the soldering pair of soldering irons but this technique is excellent and it does not destroy the LED the same technique with this multimeter method when I want to test some zener diode, some diode if I want to test this diode in one side it is giving 12 volt the second side 804 millivolt for example I want to test some diode here I have these three diodes it is 12 volt one side second side 12 volt the third diode it is giving 7.49 7.5 volt drop reverse the leads it will give forward drop voltage of the diode it is 700 millivolt 
700 700 so we can identify very easily that this is not a simple diode here are three diodes looking in the same pattern but this one is 7.5 volt zener so we can test if there is no part number we can test it easily that this zener is for how much volt so we can verify the diodes, the rectifier is here 12 volts. In this condition it is giving 600 millivolt. And for some other conditions when I want to test high voltage zener, for example in this circuit, this time I am using 24, okay I will increase the voltage. And if I want to test these diodes, it, it is giving 800 millivolt, 800 millivolt, 800 millivolt. But I will reverse the leads in Zener mode. It is giving, it is Zener diode 20 volt. Zener diode 20 volt. And this diode is dropping full voltage, that means it is reverse biased a simple diode. So using this technique we can identify how much there are zener voltage for that diode. It is forward voltage 800 millivolt, 800 millivolt, 700 millivolt. When I will reverse the leads, in reverse condition if it is dropping voltage less than the supply voltage that means that are the zener voltage. 20 volt and this is dropping full volt. Two diodes are Zener diode 20 volt and here are also 20 volt in Zener diodes and these diodes are the simple rectifiers. The same here, this is 7.5 volt Zener diodes. For example here, I have this diode, one side it is giving 700 millivolt, in reverse condition it is 26 volt. Here it is 800 millivolt and here is 16 volt. So we can identify that this is a diode, this is a rectifier and this one is Zener. When we will connect positive voltage to the cathode and it will become reverse bias that means the voltage dropping here are the Zener voltage. If I will test the simple diode, rectifier diode, one side it will give the full voltage 28 volt. In reverse condition, it will give 0.7 volts, 720 millivolt. So we can say this diode is good. If I have this diode here, it is giving 20 volt, and in this direction, it is 800 millivolt. So we can say this one, this diode is 20 volt. If I want to test this LED, either using 1 kilo ohm resistance, it is in safe limit. It is reverse biased. And if I will connect here, the LED will glow. So we can test the components very easily using this method. Friends, I hope so. This video is informative. If it is informative, hit the like button. If you have any question, let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.